We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video is just going to be a general discussion video about superhero movies. And the question I have been thinking about, because I've seen these comments uh, time and time again throughout different forums, and it, the question is, are superhero movies losing their novelty? Are they starting to lose, uh, you know, that same excitement that people used to have for them years ago when they first started coming onto the scene? And is the superhero movie genre losing fans? Um, you know, I definitely see people out there that are starting to get a little bit tired of it. However, in the overall scheme of things, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, and I don't see it not continuing its success going forward. Some of these recent superhero movies have been very good. You know, Captain America was an excellent movie. Uh, excuse me, Captain America 2. X-Men Days of Future Past was almost a diamond of a movie. It was so good. Spider-Man 2, while I enjoyed it, was not very popular amongst a lot of the superhero genre moviegoers. And constantly people are expressing their displeasures and their waning interest in superhero movies. For the most part, in my opinion, I don't think... I don't think it's going to get to a point where they're going to stop anytime soon. I think it'll be many, many years before that happens. You know, there was a time, you know, when I was growing up in the 80s and into the 90s, that the action movies were the thing. And not to say that action movies don't happen, but I'm talking about, like, traditional action movies. For example, something like Olympus Has Fallen was a great action movie. That was, like... Uh, a throwback to the, to the old ones of the 80s, you know, the, all the Schwarzenegger films, Stallone films, even some of the Eddie Murphy films like Beverly Hills Cop. Those movies eventually started fading away a little bit, and then, you know, you don't really see them as much anymore, and when you do see them, for the most part, they're not that successful. Olympus Has Fallen was great, you know. Now you see a lot of comic and graphic novel movies, you know, and um, even some of the some of the more recent, like, you know, the, the second 300 movie was very, very good. You know, a lot of people didn't expect it to, to do as well as it did. I thought it was better than I expected. You know, and then you get other graphic novel movies, like, you know, The Spirit, you know, Sin City, and then you get the comic book movies, which are all over the place. I mean, these, you know, Marvel is dominating the, the, the movie theaters, whether it's from Disney or whether it's from Sony or whether it's from uh, 20th Century Fox. Then you have now... DC, uh, excuse me, Warner Brothers trying to get their DC characters into the fold. You know, uh, Man of Steel, which I enjoyed a great deal. Uh, the Batman trilogy, which which uh, almost pretty much for the most part set the set the standards for what people want in the superhero movie. Something grounded, something as close to realism as possible, even though a lot of it is not real. I think Batman was easier to pull off that way because he is really not a superhero. He's a hero. He's a vigilante. He's like, you know, he's like a, a super duper cop. You know, he... He's stronger than the average human, he's well-trained, he's extremely intelligent, he has endless resources, and he knows his terrain, he knows Gotham. So he, you know, he's the kind of superhero that just takes advantage of the, the resources he has and, and the training he's had, and I think Nolan did an excellent job putting Batman in a position where he's dealing with true criminals, you know, the mob. You know, the Joker who then turned on the mob. Uh, Bane being of the League of Shadows. You know, characters he could deal with. You know, you can't put General Zod in a Batman movie because, theoretically, Batman would have no chance, you know, unless he has Kryp Kryptonite hanging around. And, you know what I mean? So, like, and I know we've seen him do that in other films, in in maybe in the comics and stuff, but in terms of grounding it, it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to happen with uh, Batman and Superman. But I think, I think it'll be a long time before we see superhero movies come to an end. You know, the action, the action genre lasted basically like 20 years, from the 80s through the 90s. You know, with the Terminators of the world, um, the Matrix, which led into the early 2000s. Like I said, the Beverly Hills Cops, the Stallone movies. You know, now you see movies like The Expendables, and, and while it's fun to watch and I enjoy them, they're just not doing well. Olympus Has Fallen was one of the few recent strictly action films that did not at all, uh, did not do bad at all. So I think, um, yeah, I think for the most part, even if you're starting to wane, and, and, I, and I, I don't think I get tired of seeing superhero movies. I think I get tired of nothing coming out, hardly anything coming out other than superhero movies. Uh, they just seem to dominate the box office. That's what people run to see. And there are some other good movies out there that probably deserve the attention, but these movies just take it away, and they are fun to watch. There's one thing I got to say is get tired of them or not, they're, they're still very much fun to watch, but it'll be a, it'll be a while. 
it'll be a while before people start getting tired of them. Once they start rebooting this stuff again, that's when you're going to start people saying, okay, look, we've had enough. It's time to move on. But uh, let's see. Let's see how far they can carry it because Marvel has an endless supply of superheroes and second-tier superheroes that they can run to to make movies. And, um, you know, there's still that dream of Marvel getting full control of all their content at one point, which if they ever do, that's just going to spark a whole new series of movies that people are going to want to see. So... I say, uh, yes, maybe people are getting a little bit tired of them, but they're far, far, far from going away. And they're far from being unsuccessful if done right. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation, this is Rob. This video is just going to be a general discussion video about superhero movies. And the question I have been thinking about, because I've seen these comments uh, time and time again throughout different forums, and it, the question is, are superhero movies losing their novelty? Are they starting to lose, uh, you know, that same excitement that people used to have for them years ago when they first started coming onto the scene? And is the super hero movie genre losing fans um you know i definitely see people out there that are starting to get a little bit tired of it however in the overall scheme of things i don't see it going anywhere anytime